Greetings Turians, Chaos here. I just wanted to say quickly at the start of this video that the channel has hit 5,000 subscribers, which means that's our third milestone in just a month. Absolutely insane. This Saturday I will be doing the 5,000 subscriber special, so be sure to come and check it out. For today's Build Tip video, we're going to be looking at making natural waterfalls. So I'm just going to start off by placing some waterfall wall in the background over here and just connecting the water above to the water below. Now personally, I prefer to have a source for my waterfalls. I don't like to make it look like there's no reason for there being a waterfall. So I'll either have like a body of water at the top of the waterfall, uh, similar to how I do right now, or I might have it coming out of say a cave or a grate, which I'll go ahead and set up an example of that right now as well. So if I just take some uh, let's say stone slab and I just make a little bit of a grate right here and maybe some palladium column actually we're gonna make this a little bit wider and just fill that in like it's the bars to a grate and just shape it be a little bit rounded now when I paint the background shadow, it looks like that there's some depth to this. And then for this bottom layer here, I'm not going to paint it, I'm actually just going to switch straight into the waterfall wall and bring this down. It looks like the waterfall is being produced from this grate, and it looks like there's potentially a source for the water. I don't just like having the waterfall floating out in the open off to the side for no reason whatsoever. So these are two things that I might do to uh, kind of make it look like a waterfall is naturally coming from a set location. Now we have a very boring plain straight waterfall right here. I mean it looks okay but there's quite a few things that we can do to kind of spice it up and make it a little bit more interesting. And one thing that I like to do is just throw down little piles of rocks along the waterfall that kind of just make it look like the waterfall will be uneven in places. Uh, so anywhere the waterfall strikes the rock, it's going to kind of make the waterfall uneven. And I'll give you an example of that right now. So what we're going to do is anywhere the rock meets the waterfall anything below that we're actually going to remove the waterfall and just place the stone wall back additionally we're going to place waterfall to the sides of anywhere that the waterfall wall meets stone so it it appears that it's hitting the stone and coming off to the side. So for instance, we'll put waterfall here and bring this straight on down. And we'll put another waterfall wall right here and bring that down. So it looks like it's kind of hitting these rocks and just going down from there, trickling off to the side. Right now it's pretty square and blocky because of the uh, fact that they're all walls and not actuated tiles. And there's a couple things that you might do about it, but my favorite thing to do is grab some negative paint and some smoke block. This also works with things like cloud, except the cloud block won't be animated. It also works with a living fire, except it'll have a glow. And what I like to do is just wherever the waterfall meets the stone and kind of bends off to the side, I'll just add a little bit of this negative painted smoke block and it gives it a really nice splash effect. So now it kind of masks 
that the waterfall has this square line here and a square line there and it just makes the waterfall look a little bit more alive and I'll just go ahead and do something similar right here and just place a stone block right in the middle and bring the stone wall down from there and just place some smoke block painted with negative paint around the edges and it doesn't have to be wrapped around like that if you don't want it to it could just be a single tile just like this just something to give it a visual effect to make it look like the water is actually bouncing off of the rock additionally I'll take this smoke block and place it where the water meets uh, the waterfall meets the water surface at the bottom so it makes it look like it's giving a, a decent splash at the very bottom where the two entities are meeting. Another thing that we might do to kind of give a little bit more life to the build is to take the staff of regrowth and just anywhere where these stones are, just place some moss along them just for a little bit of color. Uh, right now, obviously the nearest moss to my character is red so the red moss is what is being placed but if I had green moss nearby it would place that or if I had brown moss nearby it would place that instead so you could kind of uh, work moss towards the location that you want to get the moss that you want and I can cover that in a, a later video if you'd like another thing that I like to do to waterfall features just to give them a little bit more life is to actually add some waterfall uh, tiles. So, for example, if I were to break that block there and break that block and place some water in it and hammer the block next to it, now we have a natural waterfall coming through. Its uh, added benefit is, is that it has a sound effect, which is rather nice. If you don't want to actually just see this random block floating here, however, what you can do, and obviously uh, you saw me just cover that up with stone right now, but you can't actually cover that in a long term basis because the second you log out it's going to delete the waterfall. But what you could do is hide it somewhere up above in the shadows. I don't have a whole lot of room to work with right here at the moment, but I can give you an example of how this might work. So if I were to place uh, a tile here and get rid of the water right in here and hammer this you'll see it's producing a waterfall effect and I could just add a little bit more water to this to make it even with the waterfall and just drain that out and now what I can do to get a waterfall going through the tiles is to just grab a, bun a bunch of actuators and run them where I want the waterfall to be and just push those into the background. Now we'll have the waterfall traveling through the actuated stone when you won't be able to see it until it comes out the other side. So this could be a great way to kind of hide waterfalls. These waterfalls will travel up to 97 tiles so if you build high enough or you could just build it until it's enough in shadow to be completely hidden and still have a waterfall of full length. And if you don't want this line of stone to just appear like that, and this mostly works with gray things, we could experiment with different uh, tiles and different paints, but if I paint this white, it hides it a little bit better than it would have before. Additionally, you could try experimenting to make it even better by maybe painting the stone around it black and then painting it gray just to kind of blend in the stone a little bit more. It's something that you can play around with, but it's entirely possible to hide waterfalls within the rock if you place them in shadows, just so you don't need to see a tile there. Using these waterfalls, you could also just place them strategically to sort of add to the waterfall other than just uh, random streams coming off to the side. So if I were to, say, want 
to hide this hard edge of the waterfall where the uh, walls meet, I could just punch out a block right here and create a waterfall here. Oh, that's one to, to the side. My mistake. Uh, so if I scooch this over one... and place the waterfall here. Now you'll see that it's hugging this edge and kind of masking it. So you can manipulate the waterfall to kind of hide the hard edges if you'd like to. And I'll just do the same thing over here as well. So now this hard edge is hidden here. Now if you have a bunch of these streams coming down, and say you were to build a bridge, the downside to this is that your bridge is going to have waterfalls colliding with it. So that can be pretty distracting. It could take away from the ambience of the build, but it's pretty easy to contend with. So what you would need to do, similar to how we hid the waterfall up above, is just to take some actuators and place them where the waterfall would meet the bridge and then actuate them. And what you'll get is the waterfall passing through the background of the bridge and into the water below. And then all you need to do is paint the bridge a brighter hue so it's less obvious. It doesn't stick out nearly as much. Now this works even better with rope bridges because you don't need to mask it with actuators at all. You just build the rope bridge and strategically place the waterfall to land in between the planks of your bridge. And now I'm just going to quickly show you how this might look if I were to apply these techniques seriously. One last final thing that you could do to really kind of spice up the waterfall, and this is completely optional as it's not doable in the base version of the game. You need to use mods or T-Edit, and I'm going to use T-Edit for this, but that's to find a chimney that's been activated so it's producing smoke, 
grab the upper left hand corner of it and then without pasting walls I'm just gonna paste tiles I'm going to place this where the waterfall meets the water so now each of these points will be creating smoke particles which will kind of look like a mist and I'm just gonna show that to you in game and those are the techniques that I might use to make a natural looking waterfall system. I hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyable. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. I always enjoy reading your feedback. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.